It is a beautiful day in Clifton Park, New York. Alan Decker, Decker's Pondscapes, and we are gonna see a bit of an unusual job, at least the first one we're showcasing with you, which is a waterfalls onto a swimming pool. Swimming pool, yep. Mm -hmm. You were actually part of this build during it, so it wasn't yes. an addition. You yep. actually built it, it with during, the builder, yeah, which is really nice. So why not? If you got a swimming pool, why not add a waterfall? Of course, Absolutely. you, you just make a whole waterfall. recreation pond and do the best, but let's, oh, look at that. <laughs> That's a beautiful waterfall. Look at how that makes that. I can see it all the way from back here. Look at that. Just look at that. Ow. Would you look at that? Yeah, Don't use that. How did you build this? All right, so basically here, because it's a gunite pool, they were able to build a shelf in with all the rebar and everything to carry that weight. And then we actually, we compacted a huge berm of soil, carved it out just like we would a natural waterfall that we normally build for a pond. And this is what we ended up with. So what I like about it, it's the, it's the, it's the Semco limestone yep. from Missouri. But I love the two birch trees framing it and then the grasses behind it and the, uh, the maple. So I'm assuming you landscaped this yes, whole thing. This, this part we did and then that way it kind of brought the height down. And the other thing is uh, the reason for using that the moss stone is because of the color pavers they were going to go with. We kind of wanted something to blend with that whole look. That's so. it. Absolutely spectacular. Hi. Do you mind if I go in in my Speedo? Uh. No, go. <laughs> I don't care. That is beautiful. So that, what was interesting was that um, Alan told me that I said, did the, did the pool builder bring you in? And he said, no, the, 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 the homeowner did. And are you happy with the result? Oh my God, I'm obsessed. It, look, oh, look, it's well, like we're in, I'm on vacation. That's the whole point, right? Yeah. Of this stuff. So do you have kids? Have, yeah, I have three. Mm -hmm. So they, they enjoy they it. They love it. Everybody loves to come over. I think every I think every pool deserves a waterfall. Oh my gosh, yeah. Well, not every waterfall, only Alan. There you go. I'll, I'll agree with you on that one. Because I saw some other people's waterfalls, and this is just perfection. Are greeted immediately by some look, a beautiful white lab. Hello. Hello. What a beautiful home. Thank you. And you're a gardener. No. Okay, I'm Hi, how are you? You're either catching me going to work out or heading back from Always, work out. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so how long has this water feature been in? Last August. <laughs> you told us. He Last jumps up August. On so did you build it for these guys? The oldest one, Calum, loves the fish. Okay. He absolutely loves the fish. He sits and puts his front paws in and he just sort of plays with them and they come and swim through his legs. Yeah, and... it, it keeps them young. Yeah. Cooper is still a little destructive. <laughs> if you let him in, if you let him in, he will just, okay, flower, flower, okay, mine. Uh-huh, uh-huh, <laughs> the young guy. So how old are they? Cooper is two, uh -huh. and he's five and a half. Ah, he's middle age. Yeah. He's not that old. No. Well, can we see the water feature? <laughs> Almost a year. 
Almost. Yep. Yep. Who was the one in the household that got interested in the water feature? Oh, me. Okay. <laughs> so this was your. <laughs> right. This had you thought me. about it for a while? Or? I had a little one. Okay. I had a little one, and I. Grew, How it always I, starts. I grew guppies. Okay. And every October, I'd scoop them all out and take them back to the pet store, and the breeders would come in and fight over how nice. what got creatively done. Nice. So, okay. Yeah. Oh, you're a gardener. I love it. Yeah. And I'm in the process of changing things. So. You have a lot of hobbies. <laughs> yes, I do. This is awesome. I love it. This <laughs> yes, is great. I do. Oh, wow. This yes. is green beans and cucumbers. This looks fantastic. Kale. Yeah. Oh, there he goes. There goes the pup. There goes yep. the pup. Look at yep. him. So you had a small aquarium, small, that you, little. a little pond that you had that you had guppies in. Yep. And then how did you find Alan? I went to a home show years ago, uh -huh. and then I just started doing my research. Uh-huh. And I knew who I had to have. <laughs> That's all. And I do my homework. So let me ask you a question. What do people that come to your yard say when they see this pond? Oh, they're impressed. But what they say, it blends right in. It, like it just yeah, fits. Which is why you got Alan to do it. Sure. Because he's a natural yep, artist. Yep. And how much work is it? No, no work. I love to hear that. I go and feed the fish and I have the dosing system now, but I do my own little thing and we're fine. It's great. So it's easy. Yeah, people people are surprised because they mm -hmm. look at this and they automatically assume that it's oh, gonna no. be a lot. That's hilarious. That's a two-year-old for you right there. Once again, this is how an artist of the year does it. This is the biofalls. He's got the stone, he's brought in moss, and it's so natural. Check out the leopard frog there. Just sitting there, chilling up. Literally right below him is the plastic ledge for the biofalls, and it's just completely natural like this. Let's see if I can get him. Been doing this since I was a kid. Beautiful frog. And what's great about these is these are native frogs. This is a leopard frog. Maybe he's a pickerel frog. Leopard or pickerel frog. I think he's a leopard frog. And when you build it, they will come. And this is what people need to be doing. Get rid of lawns. Put in ecosystem water features. Frogs will come. Nature will come. Wildlife will come. You don't have to go to a forest preserve or a park. You can get beautiful animals like this that wouldn't have another place to live because of subdivisions and developments. But now he's got this. And I guarantee you, this is his domain up here. He sits here, eats insects, insects come. It's all part of the ecosystem. People think you're gonna get a lot of mosquitoes. You get frogs, frogs eat mosquitoes. You get dragonflies, a male dragonfly can eat up to 175 mosquitoes a day. You wanna hurt the local population, put it in a pond, get frogs, they'll eat the mosquitoes. So fun about this is seeing how how much she enjoys this is a lived-in yard she's a gardener Absolutely. she's got the pond she's got the puppies and the dogs are living in it they i mean it. look at look at the dog he's just totally in the in the stream and that's what it's supposed to be people how often have you heard oh i have dogs they don't know if i can have a pond no Absolutely. this is what you should have you should have the animals that get in you should have the wildlife i mean these 
dogs love Alan, you were saying that the first time you did a pond for somebody with dogs was about 15 years ago. They had big German, German shepherds, shepherds and they were ripping the liner of their swimming pool. Right. So they put in, what did they do? So they uh, they hired us to put in a 50 foot long pondless with some pooling areas in it so the dogs would actually be able to get in there and they never heard it. I mean, that, that pondless is still there even though the owners have moved on. And, and the dogs uh, have moved on. And the dogs years. have moved on, but they were um, they loved it, and they were big German shepherds. So yeah. it's pretty cool. They we were it. able to be and there. And that's the way a pond should be. It yeah. shouldn't be something ornate that you don't get into. This is a loved house. This is a woman with many passions and hobbies. This is what we like to see: is people getting outside, being in, in nature, and enjoying their lifestyle, enjoying the yard. More people need to be spending their time outside. More dogs need to have more entertainment like this. I think the world will be a better place with this, and I don't know how you can't agree with that. How long did this take to build, and how was the design? Uh, we were probably like five days building it. Uh -huh. And it, it actually, um, we actually lengthened the stream a little bit once we got here because she had taken out more trees than we originally thought. Okay. And she's like, just do what you want. And uh, the cool part was that she just kind of gave us a blank state and said, let us do whatever we, we felt we should do. Well, we yeah. love it for those customers because we really want to do the best. So this is the young pup. He loves to go in there and get the plants. Look at him. This is the guy that climbed through the fence to get to his uh, big brother out here. And this, this is good. This is what dogs should do. They should be out here injecting. And for me as the CEO of the company, for me to see how customers are living the aquascape lifestyle, how they incorporate it with their animals, this is what makes my job so fun. Thank you for the hospitality. Oh, right. And it's fun to see somebody that is oh, yeah. another dog lover oh, that yeah. the dogs get to enjoy. Oh, the kitty, well, the kitty cats come and play with the frogs and yeah. stuff too. You're an active woman and you're going to work out. Yes, I Good am. For you. So you would recommend Alan for someone else. Absolutely. Yeah. If you like seeing this stuff, if you like seeing how people are living the aquascape lifestyle with their dogs, hit the like button, hit the comment button so this video will be shared by YouTube more. Subscribe to the channel. Check out the video links below. Meet cool guys, artists, true artists like Alan Decker out here. My God, I love my job. <laughs>